Off the side. Oh my goodness! Oh! I think we can all agree we all love NBA 2K's My Career. But it definitely comes with disadvantages. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to play NBA 2K realistic. We all want to play NBA 2K as realistic as possible. Now, there are some people who do enjoy playing NBA 2K for the park and for all that other good stuff through my career. Now, as you guys know, I've got multiple my career series, but today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I set up my my career and how to play NBA 2K as realistic as possible. For me, I enjoy playing NBA 2K like the real thing. I like realistic stats. I like realistic shooting percentages. But today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do it step by step and then we're going to run through and let you guys know why I do it. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video as I will finally reveal my sliders which you guys have all asked for. So let's get into it step by step. So this has been requested for quite a while so I'm going to show you guys my sliders. Now if you want to see how I do my attribute progression all you need to do is drop a comment and let me know uh i mean i want to talk about the pros and the cons of my career i mean of course we all love leveling up our players we love styling our players up uh but let's be real we've got to be real we're going to talk about the vc prices now yes we all know this is part of the game the microtransactions but i mean some people just can't i mean they can't afford this i mean honestly we can't be spending this much money. I mean, I think it takes $180 just to get your player to the uh, 80 overall, which actually makes you, I would say, competitive. I mean, I feel like you cannot actually join a rec game or a park game if your player is uh, below an 80. Now, also, this year, I wasn't a massive fan of the badge progression. It feels like you honestly can't... Uh, you've, you've basically just got to be living on NBA 2K and a lot of people don't have time to do that So I'm gonna show you step by step just how I set up my my career how I set up my my league So then you can have the most fun you can play with the team that you want to play with uh, You also get the chance to change your jerseys You don't have to do the whole storyline now for some people they might argue and say they really do enjoy doing that uh, the story and all that type of stuff, but I do as well But with the time that we've got and the time that we need to have I'm gonna show you guys uh, that you can enjoy uh, my NBA as much as you do the my career and you can honestly have a realistic NBA career play realistic basketball This doesn't just have to be a my career. So let's get into it and we'll get straight into the steps uh, I mean like I said man, I really do enjoy playing NBA 2k as realistic as possible and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there as well uh, the advantages as well uh, once you do finish uh, a season. Uh, sorry, this is a disadvantage, man. I mean, once you finish the season, um, your team will go and make trades. So you could end up with LeBron James in your team on my career. Um, LeBron James could retire. I mean, the the career rosters are really, I would say, whack after year two or three. So, I mean, this honestly helps and honestly changes as well. Uh, it honestly aids in the fact that you can keep these realistic rosters. If there's a trade that's been made, uh, you can keep the rosters up to date. So let's get into it. What you want to do is you want to come across, you want to come to career create a player. Now, you can honestly choose any other player as well. You can also see CJ Green's there. So what you do is you start off with create a player. So this player can be any type of player. We've got Hal ba I mean, we're going to check. We're going to make this guy a green. We have to make him a green. So you can name him every anything you want uh, as you go through. Um, you can change his attributes. You can make him anything that uh, honestly that you guys want to do. Now, for me personally, I like making his attributes pretty, I would say, similar to my my career player so i don't want to have him on 99 and everything i mean you can have it 99 if you want but for me personally i feel like uh to have the most realistic uh progression and have your player roll in you can just have him at a night you can have him honestly whatever you want so for me i have him around an 80 um and then what you want to do is you want to uh you want to Sorry, once you finish, you want to export your player DNA. So you want to create a new player DNA. For this one here, I'm going to have him as I, 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 I. So I'm going to save my player DNA. Uh, we're going to overwrite the current one that we have. Save player DNA. Lock in here. Now, the reason I do this is because, I, like I said, I like to have this as realistic as possible. I like to have uh, that that 
that that feeling that I'm actually getting something out of this. I'm not just cheating the system. Now, the good thing is you can actually have your player in the LeBron era. If you want to start him there, you can have him in the Kobe era, the Jordan era, or you can even have him in the Magic and Bird era. Now, if you want to actually take a hold of a player, you can do this. You don't have to create a player. You can play as Michael Jordan in the Magic vs. Bird era. But what we're going to do today, we're going to do the modern era. So we're going to do this. We're going to start with the modern era. I'm going to put my My Career player in here. This is going to have the updated roster. Also, accessories. You don't have to pay for accessories. That's one thing in my career that really bugs me is paying for accessories. I understand the clothes and all that type of stuff, but the fact that you actually have to pay for accessories, I think that ultimately, I mean, it's a lot of money when you when you think about it. Upgrading your player, grinding his badges, spending money on the clothes and accessories and then also adding in i mean that swag that you want your player to have okay once you've reached my nba all you need to do is come across to roster now you can actually copy a you can create a new roster and copy your my player created across if you want to but for what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go through and pick a player who i feel like i mean it's not going to honestly get too many minutes now this is what i do now I, I know like i said man everyone is completely different but i'll come across i'll load my nba player so you create a player that you have created you come across you go across to my files because you want to be on your files once you've saved i mean if you've got a player you want to be um and he's in the community page you can also go across and get him as well i i i and there he is our created player so you go complete this is also no minute restrictions. I mean, if you want to be a six man, you come across uh, to coaching. You go coaching game plan. Let's say we want him to play at the... Let's take out Josh Giddy. We know Josh Giddy's been in the news lately. We don't want to... Uh, if we don't, I mean, maybe Josh Giddy's been suspended. So there we go. We've got our player here, Hal Green. Now, this step is important. Next, what you want to do. Don't worry. We're getting to my sliders. You want to come across. You want to go to settings and you want to go to position. Now, if you want to, like I said, uh, control another player, this is all you have to do. You come across to settings. For instance, our career player is going to be Hal Green. So find Hal Green, player lock, and now you lock into Hal Green. Now, I know a lot of people want to know what my sliders are. They are coming. But I want to show you guys how this looks and how it translates. Okay, we've arrived. Here we go. So... Now, to get your stats on the screen, all you need to do is flick up on the D-pad. I'm not too sure what it is on PC. And there you go. You are controlling Hal Green. It's like your own little my career inside the my NBA. I mean, I do this because it is a lot of fun. It also adds in a lot of... Oh, beautiful pass from uh, from DeMar DeRozan. But it honestly adds in a little le level of realism. Uh, I mean, I haven't paid for one accessory here. We've got the shoulder sleeve, uh, the one shoulder sleeve. But like I said, here you go. This is it. It honestly is so much fun. I mean, you can also tell your teammates to shoot the ball. I mean, if you want, so I'll get over the door. You press square and he will shoot it. I mean, on my career, sometimes the, uh, the gameplay, it's not so fluid. Your teammates are wide open. They don't hit the shots. I mean, they don't even shoot the shots. I feel like my career isn't the best translation for real simulation basketball. And I mean, that's why I come across later on in the year. I mean, if 2K haven't improved the my career, I come across here and this is where I have some fun with it. Now, I know you guys want to know my sliders. So here we go. Let's get into the sliders and I'll show you what I play with to get the most realism NBA basketball. Okay, so here they are. If you guys need to pause the video to save these sliders, Go ahead, but this is what I do. Now, I'm going to go through pretty slowly and show you the user sliders first. Uh, I feel like this is the best representation of NBA basketball for myself. Now, this might be different for you guys, but like I said, this is what I do to have that most realistic NBA basketball uh, for my My Career series. I mean, you're not just winning every single game by 100. I mean, once you get over to uh, Hall of Fame on NBA 2K My Career and your players are 70, it is so hard to play the game. And I know everyone wants to play online, but man, some people just can't afford to get their player up to that, that, that crazy... Uh, overall and they haven't got the time to put it in now if you guys want to play my my nba realistic these are the settings to have i honestly believe that these are the best settings uh that i've come across uh that i've really i've really tampered with a few different settings as i've gone through but please let me know trial them out let me know in the comment section down below
below what you guys think if these settings are great for you like I said if you need to pause the video pause the video and go through uh, but like I said I want to say thank you for watching this video uh, let me know how you go with the sliders I know a lot of people have been asking for my career sliders I've just then revealed them this is how I do the my career series this is how I get my my player and how I have the most fun with my NBA you can do this with full teams as well if you want to have a real realistic NBA season with the my GM um, you can have real rookies the rookies are always updated with the community which is good so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think have a great day man hit that like button we've got a lot of content coming on the channel thank you for 50k once again and i'll see you guys in the next one as we keep this train on moving